Hello there, James here. Welcome to the fourth and final part of my Gallery Models USS Intrepid Model Kit Build Series. Since we left off in part three of the series, I've gone around the hull fixing all of the various photo etch railings in place, painting them all up and then applying any touch-ups. It was a long process, but with a bit of patience and putting some music on, you can easily get through it. I use the same technique that I've used for a while, which I'll put up in a little card in the top right corner now on how to use photo etch. Once all the railings were in place on both sides, I nearly forgot to do the other, I went around and put on a few small antennas and then touched up a few bits of paint here and there just to make everything neat and tidy. Basically I was procrastinating quite a lot because I was really putting off looking at what I really did not want to do in the first place, building all of the air wing. The Intrepid kit itself came with 16 aircraft. I added a set of Trumpeter Sky Warrior bombers, three of which in total, and one of them actually painted black to show the reconnaissance version of the aircraft. The air wing was further expanded by finding some Corsairs in the spare box, and a very kind man called Greg helped me out with a few replacement parts and spares as well to bolster that up. All in all, 29 aircraft, each made up of six parts and then three landing gears. They all needed to be painted, weathered, gloss varnished, have the decals installed and then matte varnished again, again, over and over again. I worked on each subset of the planes in turn, almost like a squadron at a time, sometimes doing a little bit of painting or varnishing early in the morning before work so that by the time I got home afterwards I can continue in the evening. The deck equipment you see here is a resin set by Black Dog. Have you seen the review I made of these? Check out the card in the top right corner if you haven't. These were all cut out, primed and then painted with flat yellow and then weathered. While I don't think I'll ever be a huge fan of these very small aircraft, I did end up enjoying it in the end, I have to admit. Once everything was complete and dry, I tried out a few different deck arrangements before fixing everything down with white glue. And after gluing the rudder and the propellers in place, the Intrepid or Fighting Eye project was now complete. I really did enjoy every single part of this build and I've wanted to build this kit for years. The Intrepid, believe it or not, is the only ship I've built that I've actually stood on back in the late 80s in New York City. I learnt a lot from this build, using Mr Hobby paints for the first time, weathering, less is most definitely more, and lastly Wanda 350 scale aircraft really aren't that bad in the end. I would highly recommend buying this kit if you can find one at a decent price. If you've built one already, please let me know what you thought about it, I'd really, really like to know. Right, I'll stop talking now so you can have a look at some of the photos.
And that's it. If you enjoyed the video, then a share, thumbs up, or even a subscribe goes a long way for me and the channel. And until next time, happy modeling.